What is up, boys? It is PDS. We are talking banlist today. The TCG banlist just hit. We just recently had a Masters Duel banlist and also an OCG banlist. We can kind of see how all of these interact with one another and if they're bouncing their ideas off of each other. So, up first on the TCG banlist, we have Fairy Tale Snow banned. So, this is a card that is currently unlimited in Master Duel and in the OCG. So if you guys don't know OCG, TCG, OCG is like the Asian uh, countries like Japan, Korea, they all play under the OCG uh, ban list. We play under the TCG ban list if you're in um, the Americas or Europe. So Snow getting banned, it was at one and it got banned. Uh, honestly, I, I do think that this card was definitely deserving to be banned because it's just um, our meta games are very, very different. Um, in the OCG, they played a lot. They play a lot of mid-range decks because um, obviously they have maxi at three, so it really encourages um, you know you got to play a bit more methodical. Whereas here in the TCG, uh, you have a lot of people just playing a lot of engines. They're playing a lot of extenders. They're making like these unbreakable boards that you really can't punish too effectively with just a single hand trap. You need multiple hand traps. Um, whereas in the OCG, you know, you get max seed and you get punished really, really hard playing those kind of decks. So, yeah, so Snow definitely was a good hit for us. Next up, we have Ronin Toten. So, uh, my Master Duel players probably are... Um, if you're exclusively playing Master Duel, you don't know about Sprites. Um, it's a, it's in one of the next best decks coming up um, in Master Duel, of course. And it makes use of Totally Awesome. So, in the TCG, they went ahead and just banned Ronin Toten. So... It's going to be a lot harder to summon. Totally awesome. Not impossible, but it's just going to be a lot harder. And, um, yeah, so in the OCG, they also get did a, a hit similar to this one, but they went ahead and hit Swap Frog and ban Totally Awesome. So they went a lot harder than they did in the TCG. And, of course, I think Totally Awesome's at one in Master Duel, right? Yeah, it's at one. So we'll see what they do over here. Next up, we have Crystron Hockley Fibrax. So... It's banned every way you can play Yu-Gi-Oh! It is banned. Um, banned in TCG, banned OCG, banned in Master Duel. So, very good hit. I think this card is really unfair. Um, it was definitely, it's overstated, it's welcome. Um, you know, there's a lot of cards like that. But, um, yeah, it's definitely one of those cards that it was always leading to issues. Next, we have Chaos Ruler, the Chaotic Magical Dragon. I love this card. Um... It was at 3 and it instantly got banned. So it's actually at 3 in the OCG and in Master Duel. This card is extremely powerful, especially in those decks I was talking about that are very, you know, they play a lot of extenders, a lot of engines. This card lets you mill 5 and then add a light um, or dark. So you usually get a hand trap or whatever combo piece you're missing. You get a lot of mills. It's a body coming back from the graveyard. It's a really powerful card. Um, do I see it getting hit on Master Duel? OCG. I don't think so because like I said, you know, those combo decks get in check through just maxi whereas uh, in TCG they actually just have to hit the cards that um, enable those kind of strategies. So yeah, so then we have Red Reboot also being banned. Red Reboot is currently, it's actually going to 2 right in Master Duel and I believe it's at 1 in the OCG. And it's just straight up banned so you cannot play it. So if you play back row decks you're definitely really, really excited about this hit because this is one of like, one of the the only really good answers against cards like uh, Dimensional Barrier. You know, uh, those cards that just blow you out, uh, like Rivalry of the Warlords, all those floodgates, any trap basically. That's just like I win the game instantly. Uh, that this was like one of the definitive answers, but now we got to get a little more creative. So then we have the limited. So we have Blackwing Steam the Cloak. Which is an interesting unban. I think these cards are... I think this card is specifically uh, still is quite powerful even without Hulk. So we'll see. That was definitely a buff to uh, Black Wings on the new set. Cyber Jar is now limited to one. Honestly, it doesn't really do anything. It's a cool little nostalgia unban. Like they did Yada last ban list. Now they do Cyber Jar. Um, it's definitely way past its prime. Um, we could probably see this card also in, Ma in Masters will go to one. It, it wouldn't do much. Uh, Mecha Phantom Beast O-Lion is another one. Uh, this card is really annoying with Hulk, but 
it's not as annoying without it. It's still a good card, but it's not as good as it would have been with Halk. And then Substito, this is an interesting one, but only because they banned Rodin, so they're like, this card isn't a problem anymore. Um, obviously, this card is still banned in the OCG and in Master Duel, but limited to one, I think it's fine. It doesn't do anything. It could go, I'll probably go to unlimited after this ban list, and it wouldn't do anything. And then we got Spellbook of Judgment getting unbanned. Um, this was recently also on the Master Duel ban list and in the OCG balance as well, so um, they probably just saw over there it didn't do anything, so it's, it's fine to put it to one. It doesn't really do anything at all, so it's not like having it. It could probably go to three at some point because, you know, as soon as... It, it seems like a very powerful card, but it says end phase, you know, so I played when this card was at three, and it was really strong, but the game was way slower, so... Yeah, I know that's kind of like, what? It could go to three, but yeah. And then we have a Pointer of the Red Lotus going to one. This card is extremely powerful in the side deck. Going first, you get to just look at your opponent's hand and you just banish a card till the end of their turn. You can get rid of their outs. You can get rid of their starters. Really, really strong card. And it was very popular in a lot of people's side decks, so they put it to one. Um, so obviously you can still draw it and it's still pretty good, but you're only going to have one copy of it. So yeah. And then the unlimits, we have dynamite, which is fine because masterpiece and I believe diagram is still banned, right? Let me see. Dragonic diagram should still be banned. Is diagram not banned? I guess it's at one, right? Yeah, it's at one. So yeah, but um, yeah, True Draco, not really a strong strategy uh, anymore. It got power creeps pretty hard. After basically like Burst of Destiny, a lot of the decks can just deal with True Draco pretty easily. So, but they do have, they don't have to deal with Red Reboot, so we'll see. I don't think it'll be that crazy. Cyber Angel Benten going to three. I think this is fine, but Drytron definitely got a huge boost from this. Um, Obviously, they don't have EVA legal, though, so um, it's not as good. But still very, very, very playable, especially with the Magic Key cards. Shooting Riser Dragon, I honestly never knew why this card was touched at all. But sure, it's at 3 now. Fusion Destiny going to 3. This is a huge one. Um, especially, like, with Sky Striker, they can definitely play 3 Fusion Destiny. And then the 2 Bricks, I think it's fine. A lot of decks are probably going to go back to the Fusion Destiny engine. Especially because you just need to, it's an extender and, and it's a 3 of now. So it's not as bad as playing 2-2. Two, uh, two, two. Now it's only 3 three life cards, 2 bricks, right? So uh, we might be seeing a resurgence of DPE. It's also worth noting that Verte is banned in the OCG and in TCG, whereas it's legal in Master Duel. So currently we have for Fusion Destiny at 1 in the Master Duel ban list. But hopefully if they ban Verte, it'll go to 3. And uh, if, you know, just straight up sales count towards anything on TCG player, this card's already going, like, to, it's it's already at 20 bucks, like, per, even the cheapest copy. So, yeah. Uh, Nadir Servant going to three. I think it's fine as well. We're our power level. I think tier and sprite already, like, just are way better than, like, the invoked Dogmatica deck. So... The power level is already just way higher than what that deck was able to put out. So, Trickstar Light Stage, also a really nice one. Um, it just went to 2 on the Master Duel ban list. So, we'll probably see it at 3 in Master Duel at some point. And then Wall of Revealing Light, that's whatever. Nobody was going to play that card. So, the major outlying thing here is Mystic Mind. So, Mystic Mind is a card that didn't get touched at all. And this is the balance that you would expect it to at least get some sort of hit, you know, semi limit or limit or ban. They did not touch it. So, you know, one can conclude that Mystic Mine is probably our equivalent to OCG's Maxi to keep decks in check. The ultimate gatekeeper, right? Your deck has to be able to beat that card. 
So going forward, we're going to have to make our decks to beat that card, which is very annoying. Uh, Mystic Mind warps deck building really, really hard. But um, that's just the current era of Yu-Gi-Oh! we are in, unfortunately. And I wish I could say, oh, it's banned, we don't have to deal with it. But the reality is, is that it's at three. So I know um, I don't want to be like, draw the out. Right, because I hate that, but that's that's actually just ha what has to be done. Like, uh, unfortunately, that's uh, what Konami has decided. So we'll see. Um, so yeah, that is the ban list. Overall, I think a lot of people are very um, they disproved of this ban list a lot. Obviously, they're extremely disappointed. They wanted Mystic Mind to be banned. They wanted uh, Curious to get hit. Um, and I totally understand that, but uh, I think this ban list is better than no ban list, of course. And we did get a lot of cool little things to experiment with, um, so we'll see how it goes. Obviously, the ban you know the ban list helps a format, but it'll never make the format healthy. There's always going to be something wrong with Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Because that's just Yu-Gi-Oh is not. A game that can be balanced that easily right because they're just printing cards that are like insane all the time so yeah I, overall i think i'm pretty pleased with this ban list it could have been a lot worse um obviously i'm bummed out that mystic mind didn't get banned but it is what it is you know um so yeah that is my thoughts on the ban list guys what did you guys think um do you think we could see any of these changes coming to master's duel uh let me know in the comment section once again this has been pds Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you all later. Peace out.